All right, guys, I got this new geared sander. It's a Baxter. Got that from Harbor Freight. I uh, got some 80 grit on here. The bug um, had some, has this black primer under it. It might be epoxy primer, I'm not sure. But it's not coming off. I used the DA, and so we're going to try this geared sander with a 6 inch. It's a 6 inch air sander but it's a geared one so the pattern is a little different it's supposed to work a little better so this is what it looks like before there's a little bit of dust on there well i think what we'll do is we'll hit this side and then we'll check it after i run the first pad you can see this stuff is just black uh primer of some sort it's almost like tar so here's this side. I'm going to hit it with one pad. And once the pad's done, I'll do an update and we'll see how well it works. Thanks. All right. So this is the Baxter sander, geared sander. Make sure you get the geared one if you want to try this thing. Um, this is the first pad. You can see I have a little bit of grit left. It's not too bad. Um, and you can see all the stuff that came off of here. I'm gonna take and uh, just scrape this so you can see it a little bit. Um, but if you look here, there's five different layers of paint on this thing. You've got uh, the blue layer, uh, you got this green layer, there's some kind of primer, and then once you get through the thick primer over here, you see that it's kind of black right there, it's really thick. I sandblasted this stuff and it absorbed the shock from the sand. Um, and then you have uh, this darker brown layer right there. And then we get to metal. And you can see that, look at how good a job this did. And just, I think I've been sanding this for maybe 15, 20 minutes. So that's one disc, 15, 20 minutes worth of sanding. The other side with the DA, uh, that's about two hours of sanding over there. And you can see that it doesn't even compare. I still have that weird primer right there on the hood there. You can see it. And so 15 minutes, two hours at least. And that's probably 10 pads of sandpaper. So uh, just to review this thing, it's nice and comfy. You got this nice lever here. So with the DA, you click it on, um, but it's just not comfortable to hold on to. This thing, the the grip is a lot better. And uh, I usually just put one hand here and the other one there and just kind of keep it flat. Um, and then here's your air valve adjustment. And you can go full blast um, or you can adjust it slowly you just pull the trigger and, and pull that and you can kind of see. You don't want to go too fast. I mean, it depends on your material. If this was just some decent primer and some paint, I'd probably go half speed. Um, but since it's this really thick, weird goo primer right here, I'm not really sure you know, what that is, but we went full speed on that. And you can see just the difference that made. 15 minutes versus two hours with the DA. So, um, and the other thing is make sure you run a dryer. Um, I was using the sand blaster and I got a little bit of moisture in my line. The sand blaster wouldn't work. So I, I put two dryers on over by the air compressor and I used a regulator. Um, just dial on the regulator, make sure it doesn't exceed 30 PSI. And then it's just the sticky. It's not the hook and loop. It's just the glue on pads and a uh, roll of these discs from harbor freight is like twenty dollars a hundred so it's pretty affordable especially when this thing cuts like it does see that it's just sticky and that's just another vinyl pad to stick to oh and the nice thing is is it doesn't kick up dust everywhere i'm not covered in dust dust isn't all over my garage it's on the bug but hey we can just grab a vacuum and vacuum that off so that's a plus the da throws dust everywhere i get it in my face and my nose i even have a dust mask on and still get it in there so this cuts down dust significantly um so yeah 
so far it's worth every every bit of it what i paid for it uh so if you get yours at harbor freight just make sure you use the 20 percent off coupon all right guys thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed thanks